Hello guys, this video is continuation from the previous video. In this video, I am going to show you how to work with IC 7448 and 7447 for common cathode and common anode 7 segment display. So let's get started. This IC is BCD to 7 segment display code converter. Now see the pin diagram of IC 7448. This one pin number 1, pin number 8, pin number 9, pin number 16. Pin 8 is connected to ground and pin number 16 is connected to the plus VCC. Now see the pin number 7. Here it is A, B, C, D. These four are input and a is LSB and D is MSB and from pin number 9 to 15 are output now see the pin number 13 here this is A B C D E F G ok so these 7 are output and this should be connected to the 7 segment display and during the connection we have to connect pin number 5 to the ground and pin number 3 and 4 should connect it to the plus VCC. I'll explain why we should connect this to, to plus VCC and this to ground at the time of breadboard connection. Now see the pin diagram of 7 segment display. It has total of 10 pins. The middle pin of this display is common pin. If the display is common cathode then the middle pin should be connected to the ground and if this display is common anode then this pin should go to plus VCC. The other pin is, this pin is A, this pin is B, this one C, D, E, F, G. Now see the circuit diagram. Here is our IC 7448. Pin number 16 should be connected to plus 5 volt and pin number 8 should connect it to the ground. The outputs A, B, C, D, E, F, G. With this we have to connect one resistor. The value is 220 ohms. Ok. And we have to connect to all of them. And the, all the values are 220 ohms. This is our 7 segment display common cathode. Ok. As this one common cathode. So the common pin should be connected to the ground. Now see the pin 3, 4, 5. These 3 are control pin. Pin 3 is display test, so whenever we connect this pin to ground, all the segments of the display will glow. That's why we have to connect this to plus 5 volt to keep this pin logic high. Pin 4 is blank output. If the logic level of this pin is low, then all the outputs will not work. So we have to keep it high. That's why we have to connect this pin to plus 5 volt. Pin 5 is blank input. If its logic level is high, then it will make all the input deactivated. So we have to keep its logic level to low. So we have to connect this pin to the ground. Now see the input pins. And its pins are pin 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 15 and 14. Ok. Now see the inputs. A B, C and D and the pin is 7 here is pin number 1 here is pin number 2 and it is pin number 6 with this we have to connect one switch ok and we will apply here plus 5 volt so whenever we turn on the switch we are providing the inputs ok now after the switch we have to connect one 1 kilo ohm resistor and this should be connected to the ground. This is pull down resistor and the value is 1 kilo ohm. We have to connect this to all of them. Ok. Now let's see the breadboard connection. Here is our input D, C, B, A. So A is LSB and D is MSB. Middle pin of the switch is connected to the plus VCC. Ok. Now put the input LEDs. The anode pin of the LED is connected to the switch. And with the cathode of the LED, 
we have to connect one 220 ohm 220 ohm resistor we have to do it for all here it is input C input B input A now put the IC 7448 its pin number 16 is connected to the plus VCC pin number 7 is connected to ground now put all the 7 output resistors this one for A for B for C D E F G now put the 7 segment display the middle pin of the display is connected to the ground now connect input switch A to input pin A input switch B to input pin B input switch C to input pin C and input switch D to input pin D now 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected between ABCD input and the ground now connect pin number 13 to resistor A 12 to resistor B 11 to resistor C 10 to resistor D pin number 9 to resistor E pin number 15 to resistor F and pin 14 to resistor G ok then other pin of the resistor is connected to its pin so resistor A is connected to its pin A resistor B is connected to pin B like this resistor C to pin C here it is here is pin D pin E resistor F to pin F and resistor G to pin G now all the connections are completed only the pin number 3, 4 and 5 are not connected now we will see now connect pin 3 to plus VCC also the pin 4 and pin 5 to the ground both the positive rail is connected also the negative rails ok the whole connection is completed now connect the power supply here is our positive and here is our ground as all the inputs are 0 so it is showing 0 now 0 0 0 1 it is 1 0 0 1 0 it is 2 0 0 1 1 it is 3 0 1 0 0 it is 4 0 1 0 1 it is 5 0 1 1 0 it is 6 0 1 1 1 it is 7 1 0 0 0 it is 8 and then 9 and if you provide the binary 10 then see the display is turned off because this IC is for only single digit decimal numbers ok now see the pin 3, 4 and 5 here I have connected pin 3 and 4 to plus 5 volt and the 5 to the ground ok now I am keeping the pin 3 its logic level to low it is for display test so all the segments are glowing so this is for whether our display is working or not to see that sometimes we can make its logic level to low so normally we have to connect this pin to plus VCC now see the pin 4 if I connect this pin to ground see our display is turned off because it is blank output ok so I have to keep it logic high now if I connect pin 5 to logic high then it is blank input even if I apply some input see it is not working if I remove this pin from the logic high then see it is 7 now again I am making this pin logic high see our inputs are not working ok now I am removing 
this pin from the logic high see it is 3 so we have to connect pin 5 to ground ok so this is the function of this 3 control pin now if you want common anode display then you have to replace this IC with 7447 and its common pin you have to connect to plus VCC ok in that way you can run common anode display now this is common cathode display you can see it see here it is written CC it means common cathode and the other display this one CA it means common anode now I am putting this display here ok and I am connecting to its common pin to plus VCC now you can see here only the segment G is glowing and here is the IC 7448 because it is just opposite of 0 if I press 1 here the segment B and C should glow but it is doing just opposite if I apply 3 then see just opposite segments are glowing because it is doing just opposite thing now we have to replace this IC with 7447 see now it is 3 and it is working nicely ok so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching